Hey everyone, just a different way of framing up this business of network marketing. I heard a podcast this morning and uh, you saw what I entitled it, Peak, Pass and Plug. And uh, a lot of people in this business are always saying, gosh, I'm not a salesman, I'm not a saleswoman, I can't, can't do the business because I don't know anything about sales. And that couldn't be farthest from the truth after spending a number of years in sales and marketing myself before joining this amazing industry called network marketing. I realized that we are not selling, we're connecting. Now in sales, you're out there selling a widget and then the next day you'll sell another widget and uh, you're in that sort of linear income. I'm not doing that every day when I'm waking up and hopefully most of you aren't either. You're out there to be able to create a network. We're out there building networks and through that process we're looking to expand our connections with people and network with people and create long-term uh, relationships with all of our preferred customers and distributors so what you want to do number one when you're reaching out to people is not sell them okay maybe this is a different way for you to look at it you want to pique their interest okay so when you're talking to people just pique their interest hey how are things how's your economy in this economy how are things going with you are you open are you open to possibility are you open to looking at something outside of your box outside of your thinking outside of your sphere so to speak pique their interest to kind of look at you with more open eyes and say well, what, what's going on what can you share what, what, what what's going on Marco and that pushes you to number two where you're gonna pass along some information now you're not gonna be passing along the information use the tools use the tools our company like many companies in this industry have amazing third-party tools to validate information links phone calls, websites, you got it. I'm sure your offline and coach can share with you what we have. If not, call me and I'll pass along those for you to literally allow that prospect to look at some information. And then number three, if they ask more, if they're more curious, that's when you plug them into another voice and you've got your partners to bring that validation, bring that credibility, that experience to answer your prospects questions. So you want to pique their interest. You want to pass along some information, not you. You don't need to be the saleswoman or the salesman. Send them to a five 